Hello everybody, welcome back to Wine Up TV. I'm your host Wayne and on today's show we have Victoria. Hello. Uh, that's going to pimp out a couple of Argentinian Malbecs. When we come back, she's going to tell you all about these wines. Victoria, this is your first show. I'm a little nervous. Don't be nervous. <laughs> I will take control. Uh, but thank you very much for taking the time to sit down. I know a lot of people are a little uncomfortable for the first time, but we've gotten to know each other over the last six, seven months, and she actually works for a distributor here in town. And whenever a distributor has really good wines in, I like to sit down and, and show them to you guys out there. So today, we're going to do a couple of Malbecs from Argentina. Uh, one of them is from Mendoza and the other one's from San Juan, right above Mendoza. So go ahead, Victoria, tell us a little bit about your wines that you're pimping out and the new cats that she just got, but she can't bring them home yet. They're too little. Yeah, it's okay. So this is the Argento Reserva Malbec. So they're a master tier. This one's from Mendoza. And it just scored 90 points on Wine Enthusiast. Very nice. You know, one thing I love about Argentinian Malbecs is their accessibility and their price points. They're great value wines. Um, they, they go from about nine or ten dollars a bottle retail all the way up to hundred dollars a little bit more than hundred dollars a bottle retail. And people realize that and since it's a tougher economy, they really like that price point. And this is $13.99 for this Argento. And what does Argento mean? It means silver in Latin. Wow. I bet you your boyfriend's gonna <laughs> bathe you in Argento. Ooh, I hope. Yeah, right? Okay, so let's uh Anything else you can tell me, tell me about this wine? Tell them about this wine. Um, well, they like to say that winemaking is like on the edge of a knife and it's a precision art and they believe in um, letting the wine speak through itself. And so they uh, like to have that fruit forward kind of characteristic. Too. It is. It's very nice, very nice and fruity. It's very fruit forward. I like that about that. A little earthy, uh, nice plum characteristics in this wine. It smells good. You know, sometimes you, know, you smell wines, it can be closed, you don't get much smell off them. Some wines smell really kind of crappy. This one smells really kind of good. Mm -hmm. And the first thing before you taste the wine is smelling that wine, because that right. might give you a little indication. And Malbec's really popular right now. Mm. Good acid, good tannins, real good fruit structure, and it's about the mid-level range price for a Malbec. 90 points, wine enthusiast. I think they nailed it. That was a good job. All right, let's talk about the next one. The, the Grafina. The, the Grafina. <laughs> the Grafina Centenario. This is also their reserve tier. Um, Santiago Grafina founded the winery in, um, I think, 1870. And this one's from San Juan. Now, this one here, it's $11.99 retail. There's a complete difference in both these. You know, terroir, different soils. Um, San Juan's a little bit above Mendoza. And this one almost smells a little cardboardish, not in a bad mm -hmm. way, but a little bit more, more earthy. Definitely. Not as approachable as the Argento, in my opinion. We all have our own noses. That's very important. Still easy drinking. It's, it's, it's a lot easier good. drinking than this. This one doesn't have as much structure right. as this one. It's a little bit more simple. Uh, a little bit of earthiness, a little bit of that plum, a little tar, not as complex as this wine over here. So, eh, for me, if I were to pick one, I would do the Argento. I agree. What do you think? I like it. Right? And I like the name. I do too. <laughs> so, how was your first show? It was not as scary as I thought ah, it would be. Ah, <laughs> piece of cake. She's going to come back. Woo! Maybe. <laughs> All right. Thanks, darling. Hey, guys, when we come back, uh, there'll be another wrap. Or another distributor or another winemaker. So stay tuned and thank you very much. <laughs> 